Sabugu Machaka has been farming this land for decades. This year, he went about the season as he's always done. But the tried and tested methods didn't work. Unpredictable weather destroyed his entire crop. The drought has left at least 4 million people in Zimbabwe facing hunger and about 30 million in the entire Southern Africa region. With changes in climate posing a threat to food security, drought-tolerant maize seed could rescue millions from hunger and poverty in the long term. The International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center's Southern Africa Regional Office has developed varieties which yield 20 to 30 percent more than currently available local varieties under drought. They are already in use in 13 countries. Some countries really stand out. Ethiopia today gets something like 3.2, 3.3 tons per hectare, exceeded only by South Africa, which gets a, an average yield of uh, 4.1, 4.2 tons per hectare. And you look at uh, Zambia, at Uganda, at Malawi, you are talking about something like 2.7. 2.6, 2.8 tons per hectare. A significant change over the years, what, uh, over what you had, say, 10 years ago. Farmers who've adopted the seed in Zimbabwe have seen dramatic results during the current disastrous season. Those small farmers who took and experimented with our varieties are able to, to harvest something very significant, say, minimum of two tons, 2.5 tons as opposed to less than half a ton or depending upon your variety which totally failed. You are talking about two tons versus a failed crop season. The existing maize varieties have made a difference during the current drought but as experts point out the climate continues to change. New crop diseases are emerging and Africa's population is growing. And that makes it necessary for continued research and development to come up with varieties that will address those evolving needs. But technology alone is not a silver bullet. You have to have a working seed company, seed, seed sector. You have to have a working market. You have to have working financial institutions so that farmers can get financial support, credit to buy the inputs. What we are saying is, if we have a working market, if you're working seed company, strong extension and vibrant research to feed Africa is not difficult. Despite being home to more than 70% of the world's arable land, Africa is a net food importer. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.